Hello, good day everyone and welcome to the 11th uh, recorded Let's Play session here in Solaris. So I'm currently playing the United Nations of Seoul and this is the Furry Archivist speaking as your host. So yeah, um, there's... Uh, uh, how can I say what happened last time? Uh, last time we had some sort of unholy alliance with the Mitfell. <laughs> Apparently, uh, uh, we have... Uh, what you call this? Uh, we more like engage in a war uh, in behalf of Mitfell so that they could join the UNS. They have uh, some sort of a uh, you know secret fealty, and also uh, I'm planning to uh, make a federation here with this one, with the Holy Tarasian Foundation, which of course from the looks of it, their origin is mostly based from the. Uh, rebelled against the Irisu Galactic com uh, commonality. So yeah, unfortunately, I just realized on my uh, mistake there that I cannot make a a federation until the war is over. Well, the good news is that I'm almost uh, also near uh, the end of the Ferbanite War here. Just the thing here is that the Ferbanites are kind of blocking my way towards the. Uh, Sidran Manifold. So, uh, we're just gonna go for a quick war here, and then uh, after that, uh, we're going to be finished with the Furbanites. Uh, yeah, for the moment, that's the thing that's going on right now. Now, I have no idea. Um, okay. What's this? Uh, five. Okay, 5k strength. Oh, okay, I guess we're not in the position to fight that, so... So yeah, uh, let's continue now on our uh, warfare with the Furbanites. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully this would be uh, just a quick war. If, uh, of course, it's possible. Okay, uh, we got... Um, What's this? Construction uh, complete. Right. Uh, they're still attacking my uh, base there. Okay, what's this? Ah, got a lot of uh, stuff here to... Uh, I think I've already... Uh, what's this? Okay, we've already destroyed the Dwamax here. Um, uh, eight fleet is still uh, currently being the spaceport lost to enemy action. Yeah, of course. Uh, and I have three K. Ah, okay. We'll probably have to sell this one. Uh, I got no choice but to uh, uh, you know. Okay, so we got a factory world. Uh. Yeah, New Libya. I've already set the uh, New Libya in New Lebanon to an auto. Uh, um, we're going to replace this one with this commercial districts. Uh, for this one, we already got a gas, so we got moats. Um, I okay. I probably food. We need that. Yeah, probably um, this one into an industrial world, so which is more like a cross between the consumer goods and alloys. So I'm just gonna balance that one. Um, okay, that's good. No, I ran. Seems to be okay. It's a forge world. Um, okay. Um, probably go with the three gas chemicals or something. Um, what else? Oh yeah, crime rates. Uh, Gonna go for uh, 
for that stuff. <clears throat> Okay, uh, so, so far so good, um, we're nearly finished with the Ferbanites here, um, we just probably have to finish some, uh, stuff. Oh, the Ferbanites are only just pushed down on their two worlds, I guess. Okay, uh, we'll probably have to go here along with a science vessel which uh yeah or no 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 survey so in the meantime i still have um okay let me see if there's any okay we can't rent who's renting this fleet new macau is already renting that one. Oh, okay yeah of course it's a deal. Uh, oh, okay. Goodbye. Okay, so we got a second mercenary group. Back. Tracking spaceborne life form. Yeah, I'll probably go with the second uh, mercenary action group underway. here. Probably build a, some sort of base here, just to establish a you know a military presence on the galactic east. Uh, right, uh, anything I've missed? Um, okay, uh, oh, okay, full strength. Okay, we'll probably head with this. Okay, dear team, the company's going through difficult times. We lost several civilian clients and various of other operations and in those uh, costly failures. We're setting up a restructuring plan that will cut the expenditure across the board. Uh, hmm. See, bored about your severance package. No, I'm not really that cruel. Let us help instead. Well, we give them 10,000 and we get... Uh, we could go for a... Uh, we will go this. Um, I don't know if we could get a hundred. Okay, uh, we got a hundred influence. That's good. Well, we're not really that bad. So, uh. Oh God, where 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 did this come from? God. Engaging enemy station. Ah, Jesus. That caught me by surprise, to be honest. I was not expecting. Um, Spaceport reports enemy contact. Yeah, I Science was, division reports a new breakthrough. Yeah, I was not expecting. It just reappeared out of nowhere. Okay, I'll probably go with uh, to rest your armor for now. We might need that. Yeah, uh, this just uh, yeah, it's just got surprised with this one. Oh Jesus! I uh, will probably have to go with here. Oh, what the? Oh, okay, right. Yeah, we just have to upmaneuver them, unfortunately. <laughs> It's just a fleet of uh, three battleships. Fortunately, my mercenary group will have to, uh, you know. Okay, so we're contacting the football. Green zone. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, right. What year is it? So I could reform my uh, government back to where it was. Six years, okay, six years. Six years is no big deal. Oh, jeez. Sorry, it's just, uh, I just kinda had an accident with my recorder. <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad. Anyway, uh, where is the fleet that I'm inspecting here? <clears throat> okay, we got the sixth fleet here. I uh, don't know where they are. Um, I mean, where's my mercenary groups? 
Construction complete. <laughs> oh, uh, well, um, how about a listen? Where's this located? Uh, oh, great. I'll probably have this one. Okay, uh, where's my mercenary fleet? They should be. Uh, oh, 58. That's very. That's very, very nice. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm going to send them on a mission here. Um, definitely fight this guy. This, uh. I don't know. Uh, this enigmatic. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna go get a footage about this on the enigmatic fortress. Um, yeah, a little bit of close up. So yeah, I'll just um... Okay, so at least I need a 30 second video for that So in case that I um, try to make a narrative story on this episode Okay, there we go, that should be nice Okay, we have an encounter here But which guy? Oh jeez well, it's a good thing that my mercenary group's already there. Uh, they're popping out of nowhere, to be honest. Got no idea where or how they uh, popped up. They just... Uh, uh, we would like you to salvage some debris. It's a deal. Uh, tell us about salvage. Uh, what's the salvage? Give us work on mechanics or fire truck local ship repairs in no time. We'll fix your up need to dedicate uh, salvage works module to Starbase adjoining ours. We may need to shift around a bulkhead or two, but once <coughs> but once our engineers Unfortunately I am don't have a Starbase here. Uh, with the principal engineer. But uh, okay, that's okay. I think Fermanites, uh, right, still have to wait for that one. But uh, 58, that's really nice. Um, as your patron, okay, well, well, we can't max them out, unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, we're good with that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it seems that the 4,000 is engaging the 14,000 here. Okay, they're running away as expected. Because, uh, a 50, a 92k, uh, a 92k fleet is after them, so it's pretty logical. That they should, uh, run with that. So it's uh, basically a cat and mouse game right now between me and the side runs. Oh shit. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. My words. Okay, uh, we'll just. Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, we'll just add a little plus so that they can speed up. So I need at least a 30 second video for that. Oh, good. What the hell? Yeah, 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 job well done. Damn it. I hate that. Yeah, I'll just probably have to re-edit that. Uh, it, was, it was really a nice scene, but uh, that announcement just really crapped it. Okay, they won. That's good. That's a good victory for now. 
but the main battle is here. For the moment, uh, okay, we'll just call it off with the Furbanites. They're not really, we're not really gunning for them. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Spaceport reports enemy contact. Yeah, that keeps reporting on something. Oh, oh, pirates. Okay, uh, right, I'm going to donate again. Got, um, uh, one, yeah, okay, that should do the trick. Um, I'll probably have to donate with this one. Yeah. Because we're in excess, unfortunately. I am... Uh, not sure if I'm gonna make up a lot of Ecomonopolis planets, or I'll just keep the Fenhabanis as the primary uh, planet. Uh, or Ecomonopolis. Because uh, pla industrial planets or industrial worlds, I could just basically just ship them to factory worlds. So it's a basically an in-between, uh, uh, more like an in-between um, I call this. Yeah, like an in-between uh, thing from a consumer goods. Um, from a consumer goods a planet to uh, a forge world. Uh, yeah, we need to also terraform this one. Well, New Singapore is basically... Wow, oh, got a lot of jobs here, but the crime rate is still... Uh, I don't know. Oh, we got some assembling here. Yep, that should do the trick. And also, um, I'll probably have to buy some new slaves. Um, wait, just give me a moment here. Um, market. Yeah, we need some slaves for New Singapore. Okay, uh, we need this. I'm not sure about robots, but yeah, okay. We'll accept that as a workforce. And I have to contact again this guy to do some salvage debris. It's a deal. Ah. Let me take a look with this. So we probably need a science vessel here. Uh, most of my science vessels are already, um, you know, fully booked. Well, we got one here. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think I need a wild. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. We got some battle here right now. Oh, great. Um, yeah, we... Yeah, okay, um... Yeah, right, uh, we got the whole fleet chasing now this guy. Okay, let's do the F9. We'll see if they'll escape or something. Ah, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Gotta hate that. Okay. Okay, uh, it seems that they're not, uh... Yeah, well, I just need probably 30 seconds or something about this one. Jesus. Okay, 
Jesus Christ. To Fervanite Death Lords who control the stars and Citrus system. Fervanite Death Lords, Citrus system. Okay, so uh, we're probably just. Uh... Oh, great. That's kind of bad. We lost three colonies, but. Uh... Okay. Alright, so they're now engaged in a uh, battle. So, uh... Okay, let's just keep that kind of a uh, battle for uh, what do you call this uh, cinematic thing on my narrative construction uh, my narrative complete story. oh some of the uh, carriers here carry uh, some sort of amoeba pins okay so I guess that sells it um, Okay, so we lost the three, um, I don't know, uh, the Fervonites still own this guy, um, this system, I guess. Well, I did get their population, if I recall correct. They're now down to five. Uh, I should have ransacked the whole population with this. Anyway, uh, 11's not that bad. Well, at least I got all the human pops there. <laughs> uh, right, uh, let me check the market. No slaves, okay. Oh, I'm kind of over naval capacity right now. Right, I'll probably have to go with the... Um, this one is obviously going to be a stronghold. Well, New Suez is uh, still under construction, so uh, so yeah, we're uh, so yeah. Um, we'll just let that be for now. Construction complete. So our main goal here is the acceptance, right? So I guess we're going to. Jump well done, okay. Yeah, we'll probably go get this to uh these two areas. So in the meantime, um, we're gonna write an uh, non aggression pack with this. I think a non aggression pack is suitable. Um that might help uh, build an alliance. Um, we need to form a federation with them. In the meantime, um, it seems that my other mercenary fleet here is still. Oh, Governor. Uh, Okay, uh, we're gonna go for huh, army defense damage. Well, he's a form of Yoshin Kobayashi. Uh, probably go for science Yushin. division reports a new breakthrough. Right, uh, to steer um, armor. That's our reactive armor. This is new things. We'll probably go for a uh, orbital ring. We need that. And this one, uh, yeah, okay, so how do I uh, manage this? Uh, well, we'll just probably transfer resources here. Um, 
Okay, got a lot of reserves here. Or, uh, okay, that should do the trick. Um, I'm not sure why I am having your civilian industries here. Uh, this was not supposed to uh, be part of it. Anyway, this is an easy mode, so uh, or just a uh, you know an ensign category level. But if uh, I was in uh, uh, Grand Admiral, uh, I'm not gonna allow this one that the computer will take over with this. And I'm not gonna build uh, this one. Should be building a dread something. Uh, oh yeah, I can't build a dread uh, encampment. Yeah, I forgot. My bad. Okay, new fortress. Uh, we'll probably build this one. Just be replacing this one with a uh, trade. Um, well, we, could, we got an auto -kion, uh I, I have no idea why we don't have, uh, why is it put in a, there's a lot of, I really hate it when the computer does some sort of, uh, weird stuff here. Uh... Well, this is an industrial district, so, uh... So, we'll just, uh... Build some, uh, chemicals or something. Yeah, I think I should off the, uh... Uh, the, uh, some sort of, uh, auto, uh, management. I don't think that's really a good thing. I'll do that later on. Let me check. Uh, clear design and then autocomplete. Yeah, I think crystal plating would be nice. Okay, I um, this is the part where I have to manually uh, change my... Uh, Yeah, okay, this is one more of my liking. But I'm not gonna go with this. Oh, what's this? Shield Hardener. Shield Hardening. Uh, I'd rather go with this after burners is still. I'm not gonna go for auto upgrade anymore. Okay, remove that. Clear design and then auto compete. Uh, I don't want the computer messing around with my uh, with my choices with this one. Um, sometimes the computer makes a lot of uh, wrong uh, moves here, so I uh, have to keep a uh, close, uh, tight watch with this one, such as this one. Um, uh, auto company. See, uh, they didn't bother upgrading my uh, uh, upgrading my uh, stuff here. So uh, if you ask me, auto upgrade is not an option in if when playing Stellaris. Sometimes the computer makes a uh, unintentional mistakes, or uh, more like in some cases, if you're on a higher difficulty level, like Grand Admiral, the computer intentionally sabotages your uh, uh, you know intentionally sabotages your um, uh, intentionally sabotages your gameplay so uh, that should be uh, you know uh, that should be well uh, remembered when playing Stellaris uh, clear design and then auto compete yeah this is what's more my liking but this one yeah okay we we'll go for this one firing rate 
Okay, let's go save this one. So we're on a destroyer. Oh no, uh, clear design, remove this. Um, uh, what's this? Picket ship. That's okay. Uh, clear design and then autocomplete. And then uh, save this one. I know I should be putting afterburners with this. Or orbital dispenser because, but anyway, we're not engaging in any planetary bombardment. So uh, I'm okay with that. Now for this one, this is a bit tricky. So I'm gonna go for a uh, clear design and then uh, auto compete. Well, this is an artillery, so it's supposed to be an artillery. See what I mean? They're gonna go for a line. With, with it. Supposedly, this should be an artillery. Uh, yeah. So you can't really trust the computer here in Stellaris. You really have to, uh, you know, make some, uh, call this, uh, even the armor is not that, uh, even the armor is not really that, uh, oh my, um, it's already time, I have to save this one first. So this will be UNS episode uh, 11 letter A. So there we go and I'm going to save this on my OBS as uh, you know. Okay so just give me a moment here. Okay uh, there we go we've already saved that so uh, let's continue. Uh, where was I? Oh uh, yeah, I was uh, with the cruiser. Yeah, okay. Um, probably have to make a mistake with this one. Um, this is an artillery, so an artillery core. So we're good with that. We'll just save this. Okay. Uh, right, uh, this one we have to auto... Uh, Oh, well, clear design and then auto uh, and this one it's not gonna be a line it's gonna be a carrier so um, yeah um, right anyway they got this one so uh, so it maximizes the target range so uh, I actually, my fleet here, if uh, I think the computer here is setting up for more tracking rather than avoiding. Not sure if uh, my uh, computer here is sabotaging me again. But I could not pull that out because uh, the Stars computer has a notorious habit of doing that. Especially if you're on higher difficulty levels. And I'm not happy with that when the computer uh, tries to sabotage my uh, gameplay. Okay, we're gonna go for battleship. Um, we got uh, amoeba pen. This is unique on the UNS, so we have uh, some sort of bio. Uh, lore, uh, story wise, it, this is just a clone of bubbles, and uh, this is more like a bio. Uh, you know, a bio ship or something. Uh, I don't know. But it's uh, right inside here uh, on a battleship, similar to what uh, an adult space amoeba does. It has sends uh, some sort of amoeba flagella fighters. So uh, yeah, it's kind of unique because uh, uh, the f this uh, amoeba flagella acts more like a dog and uh, uh, supports these two fighter wings here. But anyway, uh, that's of course story-wise. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to uh, integrate that on the narrative. So, uh... Oh, 
Jeez, my, my mistake with that. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna sacrifice this one. One fighter wing for this. Uh, for bubble clones. So, yeah. There we go. What? Oh, okay. I cannot, uh... Right, okay. Uh, we're, we're cool with that. Uh, this one, um... Yeah. Okay, well, we, we just leave it uh, auto-upgrade. Um, clear design. And auto-complete. Uh, clear design and auto-complete. So, there we go. Um... So, yeah. Um... Yeah, let's continue now on the warfare here. <clears throat> so we still need about at least negative 15 points just to uh, push the side runs to uh, uh, surrender. Now this one, they're a vassal. Uh, they should propose a secret field with us. Contract? Uh, oh yes, open. Not at this time. Uh, open communications with them. We wish to rent the fleet. It's a deal. Goodbye. Oh well, it's a single science ship, so uh, it's not gonna be a, a thing here. What's this? Oh, this is the eighth fleet. Okay, we're just gonna go up. Oh, they're they're not uh, participating, I guess, on the war. So, uh, yeah, but an interstellar state. Uh, right. But okay, I guess they're under negotiations for secret fealty. Okay, so. Uh, they're kind of like in a hush hush, so they're not. Uh, we're just gonna leave them. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're just gonna clear this one area. Um, for us, uh, I think I should go here. Make sure that the. Uh, anyway, where's my uh, mercenary fleet? Uh, they're supposed to be. Uh, they're supposed to be here in the Demis sector, but uh... A new world has been secured for our colonists. Okay, uh... This is an Astro Mining, but we already got a lot of mining, so we don't need that. First off, there's no pop growth with this one, because this is a machine world. Uh, second... It's designated to be... What's this? Ah, sent to tier 1, okay. Fortress World. Uh, okay, um... Soldiers. So we'll just build this one and then... Yeah, we're okay with that. And also, uh, if I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send Fen Haban is here. Wait, let me check with my, uh... 20 months. Yeah, okay, sure. And the banish looks nice. It's an industrial calendar. So we need it to ascend tier 2. So we need it to, you know, boost up the productions. Well, normally I should ascend my uh, capital here, but uh, yeah, I think my capital is doing fine. Uh, yeah, I have to replace this one uh, later on. Once I. Uh, uh, once I shift my government back, so it's all just so I just only have to wait for about <coughs> I just only have to wait for about uh, five more years with this guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? Ah, uh, fortress initiative. Construction complete. Okay, uh, I guess that's it. Um. Also. probably have to build these defenses and upgrade these guys um, 
yeah, I might have to upgrade this as well. Uh, yeah, I'll upgrade this as well. We need at least a uh, 5,000 capacity. Um, so, uh, yeah, I expect that I might be building a few more. Um, okay, what's this? Right, so uh, this guy seems to be. Uh, I'll probably build a habitat here. I'll probably build this one. Okay. Just need uh, some sort of. Uh, we need to construct habitats as much as possible. The more the merrier. Uh, I need all of them. So, uh, yeah, where were we? We're still a few points short. Science division report success. And where is my fleet going here? Okay. Uh huh. We we'll probably have. Yeah, we'll go for gateway construction. Um. No, I think we go for uh plasma accelerator. We we'll go for weapons. We we need all the weapons we could have. already got uh wait 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 just give me a moment here so we'll probably have to replace this uh to um foundry arcology i guess we need three of them one two three so we need to max out our uh uh oh we got a lot of slaves right now gort Kelsan, yeah, we're gonna buy these. Oh, I like the budget. Uh, yeah, let me see. Um, yeah, okay, uh, we can buy this one. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'm really uh, head on to developing the this uh, population because we. Uh, yeah, we need the administrative arcology as well. Uh, I think this one's not necessary. Uh, we'll just replace one with an administrative. So all of them are free. Got this. Okay, that's good. So we got ne negative 25. Uh, technology modifier is plus 164%. Uh, something like that. That's not good. Someone's... Uh, Someone's uh, selling humans again. I don't know, it keeps popping up. Okay, uh, where's New Singapore? Uh, right. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. There we go, and that should be uh. Oh, well, let me check. Uh, New Africa was supposed to be a science. Uh... Okay, but uh, we got the pops here. Uh, why were we? We're not supposed to be dealing with this. Okay, so I guess uh, we need a lot of uh, robots here, um, but I am going to stop all pop groups for now. Oh, yeah, well, I'll just remove it. No, 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 no. okay, my bad, my bad. Pop goes can normal normally, and, uh, okay, so I got a lot of surplus here, so I'm just gonna boost my pops, um, Okay, that's good. Um, I usually do this back in the old uh, Stellaris patch to boost up the pop. Uh, the boost. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Why did I remove that? Okay, my bad anyway. Um, I usually do this on the old patch to boost up my uh, pops. I uh, kinda click on this one. So we distribute the uh, luxury goods here. Planet wide. Uh, I mean, empire wide. Just to boost the uh, immigration and uh, pops. Okay, New Japan. I think New Japan is supposed to be a science center. Um, we'll probably be replacing this one. Uh, okay. Refinery World. Uh, okay, fine. I'll just make it the Refinery World. We'll uh, keep it like that. Um, what's this? I can upgrade them to an Ascension tier perk. Huh. Interesting. But anyway, I'll just... Uh, I'll uh, get back to that later on. This is a mining world, so... Uh, we'll go... Um, New Nigeria. Hmm. I'll probably put this one. So that's uh, so that we can have an additional stockpiles. This gives us, if I recall, plus five thousand. I think uh, the previous patch was ten thousand, but they kind of probably hit it again with a nerf stick or somewhere in between. But that's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, um oh God. Uh, okay um uh, luxury goods have to be distributed so we can pop up. Oh, agri world. Um, okay, what's an agricultural world? New Netherlands. So it's different from uh, from New Amsterdam. So uh, and we're gonna keep them. Uh huh. So this one is. Um, I don't know, a Tokyon monument. Um, probably be building a precinct house. Yeah, I'll probably set up I guess a world that uh, that is more like administrative. So I guess that's uh, a good go now. Sanctuary will have to be upgraded as well. So yeah, that's our capital. We need our uh, capital to be ascended because, well, it's a capital world. We don't want them to be, uh, you know, a little bit backward. And let's just uh, replace this one uh, for the time being. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I don't, I don't have any other choice with that. Um, I'll probably just uh, relocate the uh, reanimation center or the dread encampment to my orbital habitats. Okay, let's uh, go with the gameplay. That took me quite a while. 36, so it's an... Ah, Jesus, it keeps popping up. Okay, what's this? Uh, celebrate diversity. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that's kind of unique because um, 
If we are democ democratic, we get unity points. But if we, if we're authoritarian, we get uh, influence points. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit uh, over on my uh, capacity here. So, who's up for an upgrade? Um, nutritional plenitude, diplomatic grants. Uh, we're currently not. Uh, they should have an industrial thing, but that's okay. <laughs> gonna return control that uh, stuff here yeah we're just gonna deploy this one somewhere okay that's good so we're just gonna go here and uh, build a star base or something Okay, we've already got our, uh... Oh, what's this? Okay, um... Okay, our mercenary fleet here is... Uh, engaging that area, so... Okay, there we go. So all we need is at least achieve this one. So uh, yeah, this is a long dragging war. Uh huh. Okay, there we go. And I'm still having an over size capacity. Oh, what the. Uh, so they're doing a hit and run tactics and they just suddenly, I don't know, went kaput. Skywatch has sighted a spaceborne life form. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's upgrade this one. Construction okay, uh, we got a 53rd fleet here ready and this uh, dragon spearhead. I'm not sure. If, oh, it's not our fleet. Okay, but uh, they are willing to uh, Okay, um, okay, I don't have 3,000, 6,500. Yeah, that's kind of a bit of price Pricey, so uh, we'll get back to you So just hang in there and uh do your thing, I guess. So for the moment, I could just only change the government to about four years. So yeah. So that's uh. That's uh. I don't know. Got our fleet here attacking the usual stuff. So there. Um, oh, okay. So this there. Okay, I just want to see this. Oh, they're running again. Okay, but I, I think they're on a fight right now. Wait. Um, let me take a look with this. Yep, we got it. we're going here full force. Uh, okay. So the side run is probably the side run fleet is going uh, back and forth. So it's just a cat and mouse game right now. Oh, jeez. 
Uh, the view was already good. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just, uh... Okay, let's just watch this one. Let's just watch this one. Oh, Jace. I should have, uh, have it put my, uh... Okay, they seem to be doing good. Ow. Oh, damn it. Right, so we're fighting in here. Okay, that's supposed to be. Wow, I got 105. Science ship reports enemy contact. All sword ground elements are dropping on target. Okay. Sir, one actual reports oh, the Stardust Manifest Republic secured. has been destroyed by its enemies. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Our racket state has been destroyed. Oh my god. Okay, it's a deal. Goodbye. So the Racket Republic has been uh, quashed here. I think the Racket Republic is somewhere. In this area, but uh, I guess that's part of science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, right. Uh, probably go for another fleet command limit. We need to max out that. finished with this one science division reports a new breakthrough okay. plasma accelerator we're gonna go for a research institute but okay fine we'll just go with the gateway construction I think it's much more easier with that Forty-eight thousand. Huh. Singapore, we need forty-eight thousand, and we're just only what? Um. Yeah, we're near at least forty months for this. This is a very long and uh, exhausting war, but uh, we need them to. Uh, we really need to absorb the Midfell Empire. Uh, I do apologize if I have a runny nose. Uh, I guess my allergy is attacking again. Science ship reports enemy contact. All right, so there's an enemy contact. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're ships refitted. Okay, uh, that's good. Now, here's the thing: it seems that my mercenary fleets are more stronger than my regular military fleets, which is kind of well embarrassing. But uh, yeah, well, that's the thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, we need to attack this one and establish some sort of base here. Uh, okay, 
what do we got? Oh, okay. Oh, corrupt trait. Okay, I'm just gonna have to have a recall on my planets and sectors. We don't know who Giovanni is. Um, yeah, that's a scandal. Alright, so we're just gonna lay him off and uh, produce this one. Oh, and uh, wait, where's my leaders here? Um, he's gonna get fired. Corrupt, fired. Okay, so Giovanni just got fired from the job due to allegations of, uh, I don't know. Uh, fraudulent, uh, uh, I'll think of something uh, on that story. Artificial intelligence, refugees, uh, refugees are welcome. So we're now uh, accepting refugees. Uh, population controls is still allowed. Uh, unfortunately, since I'm a democratic, we could just only go for displacement. We can do purge, but we're just gonna... Uh, standard acquisition. Uh, we'll go for negotiated synergy. Yeah, we're kind of expansionist right now, but uh, well, we're not supremacists. Uh, the UN, the UNS is not supremacist. It's just basically a. Uh, um, anyway, it's almost 30 minutes again, so I have to save this uh, as a progress. So this will be UNS episode 11, uh, letter B. So there we go. Now I'm going to uh, save this as usual on my OBS and we'll have a little break. Uh, so yeah. Hello everyone and welcome back after that uh, short break that we just took. So let's continue on with our uh, recorded Let's Play for now. Okay, uh, right, so where were we? So we still need two, uh, two orders here just to complete the survey. And uh, yeah, okay, so everything is doing good I guess. Um, we just need about that negative eight just to clear this one out. So uh Yeah. Okay, um huh. Okay, so that should uh wait, let me take a look with this. Ah, okay, so I, I get this. Probably have to redirect here. Um, okay. So this one, I'll just probably be capturing some systems here in this area. After all, we'll just uh, about negative 8 anyway. Um, okay, let me talk with the froglet uh, mercenary group that we have here. Uh, Azure Patron, uh, okay. Uh, right, so who am I talking with? Uh, yeah, okay, this guy. Uh, right, I'm just gonna sell a few of these. It's a deal. So good. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Oh my, so we got a lot of huge uh, fleets here right now. Um, the Dreadnought seems to be... Okay, well... Okay. Right, sure. So we're now uh, system reconnaissance completed. Okay, we got some refugees now. This guy. So we'll have 
Yeah, we kind of have a diversity right now. Construction complete. And our third lead will obviously be human. Battle debris secured. Okay, um... Alright, uh... This should have, uh... Crew quarters, yeah, we're good with that. Um, this one... Wait, 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 uh, this was a mistake. I think we'll just, uh... Yeah, I think... Okay, uh, I'll just take a look with this one. Uh, I'll just sacrifice one shipyard to an egg garage. We'll go for an egg garage. So uh, we need this just to support our, uh, um, you know, we're kind of over something here. Okay, we got an anchorage ready. This one has an anchorage as well. Okay, uh... Okay, that's good. That should do the trick. So we're now welcoming all, all uh, refugees now. We're opening our doors to Xenos. So that's a, uh, you know, a big change on the government. Actually, it's for practical reasons that that's uh, Xenophile. Oh, they kind of liked us. Okay, we're near here. Anyway, the main reason why we're accepting refugees is not for goodwill, but probably we needed some folks to, uh, uh, well, man the, uh, you know, our factories. It's more like a, uh, what do you call this? Uh, more like a debatable part of the UNS. So uh, let's just hope that the Xenos do not uh, over, what do you call this? Uh, overrun the entire population of uh, UNS. Uh, well, it's still a majority on humans, so we got a minority, so that's okay. As long as the Xenos are minorities, I'm, I'm okay with that. And uh, they're just residents. They cannot be fully... Uh, they can't be fully citizens. That's one thing. So that's more like imposing a limit, just to keep them in check, of course. But however, uh, despite being a residence, uh, they, they're pretty much uh, allowed now to do almost anything. You're even allowed now in the military. <coughs> Sorry. I'm having another allergy attack and... Uh, yeah, I apologize. It's not really good having an allergies. So, uh, we're now negative seven. We're achieving our goals. And we have the side runs here. Ah, uh, okay, fine. We can go with a direct confrontation. We could use some. Num we could lose some numbers here. After all, I got uh, one thousand here. All right. We are now engaged with this. Uh, okay, I want to see the battle. So, uh, no kill joy, of course. So our mercenary fleets are now in heavy fighting over the Enigmatic Fortress. And uh, I don't know, things are not looking good I guess, we don't know. But they're, pr they're pretty strong enough, they have 80,000 uh, strength, if I recall correct. So they should be able to, uh, you know, defeat this one. And uh, to make it uh, a plus for the UNS, these guys are mercenaries. Uh, it's something uh, like uh, in real life, um, the, some governments prefer mercenaries than soldiers because if a soldier got killed, of course expect a lot of inquiries from the media. But if you're, uh, if a private a military contractor got killed, uh, there's not much uh, 
you know, not much uh, questioning or inquiry about the uh, soldiers there. So uh, it's a big win-win for, uh, practically, it's a big win-win for a UNS to be hiring private military contractors. However, there's also a danger that uh, ships refitted. You know, there's also a danger in using private military, private military, well, sorry, private military contractors in real life. Uh, number one is since that they're not under military jurisdiction, they they can and will probably have some sort of uh, rights violations. All sword ground so it's like a gray area. They're not under the jurisdiction of a military, and since they're not under all the jurisdiction of the military. The recruitment process is somewhat flexible. So yeah, uh, which uh, of course in our plot-wise here in the United Nations of Seoul, since their recruitment is kind of bendable, they can hire Xenos, so technically. So uh, I'll probably have to incorporate that on the, uh, on the narrative plot in general. So I guess that's enough. Uh, yeah, I guess that's enough, uh, what do you call this, uh, uh, footage. Oh my, Lebanon, what's happening in Lebanon? So there's a high crime rate. Uh, okay, fine, we're just gonna replace this guy. Uh, He's not gonna be at fire, he's just gonna be laid off for a while. Uh, or more like reshuffle for the Asiatica. So, uh, Asiatica. Um, yeah, he'll be the one in there. Just to avoid some controversy with the, uh, with New Lebanon. Okay, so, uh, well, we're still under military uh, jurisdiction here, unfortunately. Uh, we have to go with this one, uh, Enforcers. I think we could remove this one. Ah, uh, no, we're okay with that. Uh, okay, let's proceed. Okay, so they're still uh, under heavy fighting from the looks of it. Yeah, this is a good uh, video. So uh, the PMCs are doing really their job in the name for humanity. So uh, yeah. Oh god, what's this? Okay, uh, what's this? We got an event chain here. So, with the defeat of defenses surrounding the ancient megastructure, our ancient structure, we may find a way to explore its mysteries. Entering and traversing it may be difficult, but whoever built it must have possessed a technology that can hardly dream of making matters more arduous. The fortress must appears to be recovering. Some of the people who helped disarm the fortress have volunteered attempt entering, exploring, and back up from a headquarters on sanctuary, following through our end will. You know that present our challenges so uh yeah okay okay um right we got uh an event here enigmatic fortress uh well we'll go for a local power search if available so we need a science in orbit. Okay. Alright, so Axel von Fritsch will be the one doing the Kraken. Now hopefully he doesn't get himself killed with this one. So and uh, hopefully my gameplay doesn't have any, uh, you know, errors because, uh, I don't know, I've heard some uh, things that, uh, Oh my, there must be some sort of uh, purge going on the on up north. The Stormrider Prime is doing a lot of purging here. Everybody's fleeing. Construction complete. Okay, uh, give me a moment. Uh, okay, so we got this. 
Wait, wait, what, what, what happened here? Why, why do I have... Uh, huh. I'll probably have to wait for a month about that result. Okay, I'm just going for planet sectors here. Uh, right. I probably just do need some of this to, uh... Okay, we're good with that. Now I got a problem with the... Uh, oh god, I have a high crime rate with this. Uh, 30 months. So which one should I um, update first? Huh. Well, New Singapore has always been my candidate, so I just have probably have to wait 48,000. Oh, maximum perk is Ascension Tier 2. Okay, that's kind of limiting. Okay, we'll go with this one. Uh, or, uh, no, wait, no, no. Uh, New Canada seems to be nice. Yeah, I think we go for New Canada. No, no. Um, I got a better idea. I'll just have to wait for it and then use this one. For the... Uh, uh, what do you call this? For the... Uh, traditions. Yeah, I apologize. My uh, allergy is getting uh, a little bit uh, problematic. So, uh, so I guess I have to uh, finish my uh, recorded Let's Play session here. And then after that, I'll uh, probably change my uh, type of uh, approach. I'm not going to record for a while until my, uh, my uh, allergies uh, Did you, you know, Science satisfy. Division report success. <laughs> Okay, we got now an orbital ring. Nice, but we need this one. Okay, uh, since we got, um, we probably have to make an orbital ring out of. Uh, well, our first uh, successful orbital ring uh, will have to be, of course, Singapore because uh, it's a major industrial site. Uh huh. Orbital ring. Oh, okay. Uh, what's... Okay, what seems to be the problem with that? Okay, just... Uh, okay, just give me a moment here. I have no idea why I am having a problem here. Orbital ring. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, so I just have to click on the name. My bad. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh... Third, fourth, uh... They'll have to be redeployed uh, somewhere up, uh... I, I guess... Third and sixth will have to be re redeployed up north. Um, uh, it's a pretty peaceful assignment up north. Ah, uh, jeez, I still got the uh... construction complete. Wait, I need to finish this. Uh... Oh my, the Kelsan is also, uh, there's really, uh, the Stormrider fleet is getting, uh, 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 they're really, uh, eating a lot of, uh, folks up north. Special project complete. Okay, um, I think, uh, the best way is we go for a lower, uh, power surge here. Okay, we're lucky. At first time other oh, make a difference. Then there's our Okay, the science team is getting lucky. Hoo 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 lucky 
Right, uh, this is just going to be a naval logistics office. We're gonna uh, start the fleet yard. Uh, yeah. Oh, great. Um, we're going to change this one. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna change the uh, anchorage here. I'll probably have to go with this one in the uh, hydroponics. Yeah, we we all got the hydroponics, but we'll just go for a listening post. So yeah, a start the fleet yard is our uh, you know our main base with that. Do 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 do. Wait, start the David. Uh, well, it's just a train station, so there's no need. Okay, uh, yeah, we're okay with that. We're just uh, building that up. Okay, so we're back from uh, negative six to negative seven. So, uh. Ah, God, we probably need some more military force deployed here. Okay, first fleet. Uh, time to show your... Uh... Okay, uh, we got a situation here. <coughs> um, God, this has been so long since I played it. Uh, we had to block my massive bulkhead. The team report there is a receded enclave under the housing of pedestal and... Yeah, I think we go for the metal uh, Tory, I guess. Woohoo! Sorry, I just couldn't get it. I'm just uh, got lucky with that. After the course of attack, uh, the moment of sounds was followed. Splat sounds are uh, the first that you think the team has been swatted like small is following. Cheers from the team as they report that they. Okay, they're alive! Whew! I'm sorry, it's just, uh, it's been so long since I played the Enmatic Fortress, and I could barely, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, okay, um, okay, well, we can laugh about it at, at least now, and we thought you were dead. And uh, Construction Axel complete. Von Fitch is still alive. Oh, well, what's this? Our this is level up. Your subject has reached the tier two class. Okay, so our Prikikiti here has been a very good citizen, and uh, yeah, well. Uh, Okay, so, uh, yeah, all good for him. Well, um, the Pricky Kitty are now being, uh, well, being a uh, good citizen. Okay, uh, this was totally unexpected. Uh, everybody likes us now. So, yeah, uh, except for the hive guys. But, uh, and the Pikikiti, the original ones. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're probably the most like uh, civilization right now in the Fornax galaxy. Uh, find a reach what appears to be. Okay, we'll find a way. Okay, uh, this is the thing, uh, huh, okay, uh, we got a thing here, home research available or use, uh, Q, 
Okay, uh, what's this? Uh, home system research. Uh, yeah, we'll go for home research. It might. Uh, we got some science vessel anyway. What's this one? Uh, yeah, we'll go for home research. a look so uh, what's this or what's this uh, home research system okay uh, I guess yeah okay I'll just have to keep my fingers crossed with this one <laughs> hopefully uh, they don't get themselves killed again Construction complete. Alright, uh, have they invaded this one? Let me take a look. Yep, okay, so I guess the mercenary fleet can now deploy and fight the sea drugs here. Oh god, it's really powerful. Got 131. Uh, wasn't expecting that my, uh, you know, my uh, mercenary fleet could be that powerful. Uh, on my previous gameplay, they were just around, uh, uh, 16 I guess or something but anyway we got a powerful mercenary fleet and uh, how many more years oh well three years three years is not gonna be that uh, bad Claimed a new world. Oh god. Yeah. Look like at the songwriter Prime. Been eating a lot of pops. And they're high mind dolphins. Oh well, we're not gonna, as long as it doesn't cross us our borders. Fortress world. Okay, um uh, Huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna name this one New Macronesia. Um, yeah, okay, New Macronesia, I think. Uh, this is a fortress world, unfortunately. Well, actually, new. F um, yeah, it's a fortress world, unfortunately. We don't have uh, much of a choice with that. Um, we'll probably go with the machines. And probably we'll go for a few... Uh, this one. Features. Yeah, we'll just remove that box of kelp. Anyway, we're welcome for refugees anyway, so... Uh, it's not gonna be a problem. Okay, we got uh, we're doing well right now when it comes to economics. Incoming enemy ground forces. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's a constant back and forth right now, and we got three full sized. Uh, very powerful, uh, yeah, okay, uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, okay, we got that full strength. I better check with this fleet. Um, okay, yeah. Oh wait, what ha well, what just happened? Wait, I wait. Just give me a moment. Oh, we got two first fleets. 
Right, uh, yeah, that's a bit of confusing anyway. I'll probably have to rename that. Oh, wait. Okay, that's what's really confusing that we have two first fleets. Uh, yeah, I think I have to go segregate that next time. Uh, the original first fleet was uh, not really that. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, first UNS fleet. Yeah, I'll just keep that as a name. I'm just keep renaming them. I don't have an idea what's the fifth to third fleet. Uh, this will be, I don't know, one, two, yeah, I'll probably name this one a tent fleet, I guess, tent UNS fleet, just for a show. Okay, oh, great. Yeah, okay. Okay, Steam Patron, thank you. And I got some uh, excess again. Probably have to sell this one. Okay, um. Uh, first US which should be reinforced, but I have no idea where are they. Okay. Um. This is gonna be third, this is gonna be the fourth. Uh, yeah, it's a bit confusing. Fourth UNS fleet. And we're going to. Uh, oh, we got a psychic racket, okay. Yeah, well, we're now gonna have some immigrants. Uh, fourth, fifth UNS fleet. Keep having this psychics. Uh, all right, fine. I think psychics are more useful and beneficial. They're more beneficial. Six. Uh, okay, we got. We don't have third. Uh, this will gonna be the ninth for now. Uh, they don't have any designated number, but. Uh, Okay, let's go. Oh my, it's almost time again. So I have to save this one. This will be UNS uh, episode 11, letter C. There we go, and I have to save this on OBS. Okay, so we're now on our final 30 minutes here with our gameplay. Uh, Planetary defenses overrun. Oh god. Yeah, it's gonna be a long back and forth. Uh, well, anyway, we'll, we'll be, uh, uh, yeah, we'll probably be, uh, oh jeez. Well, anyway, we got two years more, so, uh... Oh god, we got another Kelzan riding from New Morocco. However... Oh, well, no. I, I don't, uh... <coughs> and the dolphins are really eating a lot of people. Uh, I mean, Xenos. Sorry. Well, anyway, we got a fortress station here, so, uh... Got some armies. What? 
How? Uh, okay, just give me a moment here. I think my species, especially this one, are uh, ultrabots. Is that right? Uh, no, we'll, we'll use them. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. Okay, fine, I'll just allow my, uh, I'll allow pops here, so we can hire them. Uh, yeah, I think I'll hire, uh, yeah, in case that I get an excess minerals, I'll probably have to hire, uh, just one. Special project complete. Okay, so this is the thing. Uh, scaring the local star for clues how the fortress was built. Um, uh, we have discovered a surprising secret. In the midst of nanotechnological cameras have been found in a close proximity to the star, acting as eyes to the fortress and expanding efficiency in its defenses. Accessing with the data from the fortress, we can now view the history of the system all the way back to its construction. However, we are running out of time. Which part of the construction process should we review? Okay, uh, yeah, this is uh, kind of difficult. I might go for the beginning, but uh, oh well. Uh, okay, hold on to my butts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, oh my goodness. Okay, the middle section of the footage, although not showing the construction of the core itself, reveals the shipping of materials to the fortress, which scientists conclude must have been used for the core. This must have been critical time at which the structure needed power from structure. With the knowledge of these materials, the team inside the fortress has managed to stop them from repowering. We can now re Okay, well deserved. <coughs> Oh my god, Axel Von Fitch, you are one lucky Hama Hama. Okay, we're just gonna establish a base here. Uh, yeah, he's one little lucky uh, thing here. Hama Hama. Okay, uh, what's this? 38. Okay, uh,. Yeah, we'll probably have to, uh, so it's a back and forth scenario right now happening here in the firm, uh, in this war. The 10th fleet have been redeployed. Uh-huh. Station reports, oh, enemy contact. Another pirate, Solano. Uh, probably have to designate the... Okay, what's the strength of these pirates? Do you Thalia? Yeah, okay, I'll just let the first UNS fleet deal with it. Uh, probably have to go with the defenses next time with this. And this guy, I'll probably have to go um, refitting. Okay, so we got bubbles and the enigmatic uh, dreadnought here. Okay, we'll just uh, put it here. I establish a star base here. Oh, 470. Ah, that's really expensive. Uh, I'll take all my uh, influence points up there. Oh my. Okay, somebody's eating a lot. Those dolphins are really eating up a lot of guys. Science ship reports enemy contact. Oh god, who's. Oh. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Um, I guess Patron. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. It's a deal. 
Goodbye. Okay, what little character we would like to... Oh, oh 13,000. Well, uh, we kind of lack of cash right now, but we'll get back to you. Do I have to keep some mining station lost to enemy action? Oh yeah, speaking of which, I have to buy some slaves time. Yep, we'll go buy the local. Wow, that's a good props for Fervanites. All the negatives have been uh Yeah. Huh, this is interesting. Uh they really have all good pops here. They are Ocean Preference, they are Lithoid, they have an Ocean Availability, they are Radiotropic at the same time, uh, Incubators, uh huh. So they all got positive traits here. Huh, okay. Now who would sell them as slaves? probably have to set some uh, defenses here in the long run. Alright, so this is... What? We're not... Well... Okay, this is now... Okay, hopefully... Yes, yes, whatever. Goodbye. Okay, what? Yeah, we'll go for a different angle. That's it. Okay. Oh, that's a nice footage. We just gotta keep on the lower... Uh... Yeah, I guess that's a nice footage. Okay, that's enough. Okay, we're back in 6th again, and we have to retake this, or at least uh, fight this one. So as long as the Storm Rider Primes are uh, not doing any trouble, uh, construction complete. Okay, what do we got? Uh, Okay, so we'll just go for normal speed here. Ah, uh, got still 17 months. A new world has been secured for our colonists. 
Construction complete. Okay, uh, New Palau is supposed to be a fortress world. Uh, one habitat and uh, wait. Um, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, okay. New Palau is uh, good with that. Uh, so this is the map right now uh, yeah Kalano research station okay uh, so I'm just gonna go with this oh right it's a deal goodbye all right we're out now um, fight here Against a twenty eight fleet. Okay, uh, wow, uh, our most decorated fort, uh, mercenary fleet, the Fortress Echelon. Well, they're technically, uh, non military. Construction complete. So we're just gonna enjoy the cinematics. I uh, guess that's not, they're not gonna fight. Uh. <coughs> this is a very long dragging war. Oh my god, even Furbanites are, uh, rackets are even, uh, you know, uh, they're really fleeing. Right, so uh, from the looks of it, we can have this and this. Um, the space black site. Uh, we'll probably go with the disruption. Uh, communications jammer would be nice. Uh, yeah, we're good with that. has been secured for our colonists. Oh god, another racket are still right. Okay, uh, Unity Center. Okay, uh, Unity. Um, okay, uh, what shall I name this one? Huh, let me check. So it should be another European country if I, uh, um, yeah, New France, I guess. I'll just keep it Unity Center. Oh, wait, wait. I'll just designate it to Unity. Um, designate it to Bureaucrat Unification Center. So, uh, uh, three of these. And then three of these. So it should be balance. And then one, two, three, and then this one. Yeah, we have more like a balance uh, because this one's a unity. Uh, and then um, we'll go get this one administration office. Yeah. Oh my, got some battle here. And I missed out all the action. 
Okay, uh, right, we're go going to attack this one again. So that should be, uh, bring the end, I guess, on the warfare. Uni Center. I'll be New France, of course. Uh, so yeah, this is the total map right now, um, which I will be using. Um, Oh, great. Side drama. Yeah, well, we're not really claiming anything here. Construction complete. I guess my uh... Oh, what's this? Carnola. Oh, okay, well, it's right in the middle of a Storm Rider's path. Ships refitted. Oh my, it seems that this is a very strong fleet from the looks of it. So trouble in the galactic north, I guess. So for now, we're not gonna address that. Um, it's none of our, uh, well, it's none of the uh, UNS business for now. The naval, naval defense. Fleet. And why this? Okay, I'll just go. Uh, upgrade that I guess yeah okay um, here's the thing I'll probably have to create an army um, five um, uh, geez. okay uh, armies uh, one two three four five One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, no, no meat valves. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we got a pretty diverse here. Okay, uh, well, for now, we don't have any choice because uh, I'm all currently on Mega Corp. I still have to wait for a year. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, we're not gonna. One, two, three, four, five. So we got a pretty diverse army right now. Diverse army and diverse navy. But the majority of the uh, Oh great. Do we have any pops here? Fine, fine. I'll just uh 
Одну сыграла в две Окей, okay, I have no idea. Oh, Jesus. They just, uh, we forgot. It was, uh, right in the frontier, and, uh, we got overlooked that. Okay, my bad. Um, okay, I guess that's, uh, New Panama. Um, I don't know. Probably go with the, uh, Enforcer. Wes is still good. Okay, that should do the trick. Um, okay, uh, it's already 23.47. Um, okay, so I, I guess I'm late, uh, late on the month. Oh no 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 you don't. God, I really hate that. Okay, uh we'll probably go with here. Probably just go up north or somewhere. Ah, okay, I got a perfect spot here. So I'll just I'll probably have to travel up here, uh, make some few deals with the locals, and then we're gonna destroy the party. It's a good, uh, you know, it's a good place to set up, uh, set up a shop. Currently having problems with me. Okay, humans. Uh, okay, that's good. Ah, uh, Jesus. Uh, I'll just go in here. Wait, why do we? Have to construction no, complete. No, no. Not gonna go with that. Okay, we got after defeating a section of the exploding the space, we've decided to bring it to as, as part of our uh, several humans uh, depths of chamber of fortress. Ever since they arrived in New Nori, let's <laughs> so we shoot there. Folding themselves during a sheer arguments are real against it. Huh. For our agents to rail against we can still communicate with the trapped humans, but we have no clear idea of getting them out without damaging the shark. See. Leave no human behind. You can't risk disappointing the chamber. Set Uh no, I'm gonna go with leave. No, uh, leave no man behind. We don't really care about the uh, uh, enigmatic fortress. But that's a big uh, fortress. Yeah, I mean, one pop just got trapped. That's about half a million. <laughs> uh, I guess that's a really big place. Like a battle fortress or something. Anyway, not my concern. Alright, so we're just gonna go with this one and, s and smack the echelon again.
more like a front view. Alright, they seem to be on the move here. Okay, they just literally went through the sun. Okay, uh, what's this? Excellent. Uh, we need to colonize this one with robots. Okay, it should be uh, <coughs> another name for a country. Um, how about... Uh, oh, New Madagascar. Madagascar. Yeah, that should do the trick. No. Well, um, I guess we could build a base here. Okay, it should retain. Okay, let's just go ahead here and explore. Uh huh. Okay, I just have to wait for another month. Wait, let me check the. Uh, relics here. Oh, okay. That's. <laughs> All right. Okay. What do we got? Uh huh. Do 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 do. Uh huh. Oh, my. Uh, right. Oh. Inbound message traffic. Okay, uh, they seem to be. <laughs> Alright, uh. Wait, just give me a second here. Uh, we're trying to push you through to a federation. Form. Form Federation once established, you can try. Form Federation is that once this established, you can try to invent it. Federation types dictate what the focus of the Federation will be. Base. Each okay. Federation type has unique starting perks and laws and will unlock more okay, perks uh, as we'll it go gains for a defensive XP. pack for now, just to increase our. Uh, Okay, uh, just give me a moment here. Now we're going to wait, reform our government. I uh, will take at least. Yeah, okay, right. Uh, don't show. Come on, come on. So we can form a federation, a military alliance. Um, okay, we'll go for a trade deal. Uh, probably we need a favor. About two uh, resources. Uh, we could give you alloys. Uh, oh god, you're really making me. God, these guys really know how to make a deal with this. Okay, confirm. Um, okay, we'll just uh, 
Okay. Right, so, uh... New Nigeria. Okay, what happened with New Nigeria? Okay, that's good. Got two favors, just give us a second here. We're going to form a federation. Alright, that's a military alliance, except... Uh... League of Stellar Nations. League of Stellar Nations. Uh, League of Stellar uh, Nations of Fornax. League of Fornax. Stellar League of Fornax, yeah. Okay, we got now a military. Okay, that should do the trick. Uh, right, I'll probably have to uh, Okay. Oof. Okay, so I'm just gonna just uh, you know, I'm just gonna extend for a few minutes. I just want to restore the uh, government here. So it's just only for a year, so uh, what's this? Construction complete. Federal okay, the United Nations of Seoul and the uh, Holy, I don't know. Uh, uh, let history record on this day the governments of the United Nations of Seoul, Commonwealth of Pikikiti uh, signed a treaty, Federation members of Stellar League of Fornax. What a great day! Okay, agree. So the founding members of this, I'm just going to assign some envoys. Adding envoys to our federation will help improve cohesion. Keep in mind that you are limited with how many envoys you have. Envoys that are assigned to federations can later be reassigned to other yeah, envoy nations. Those guys already got the corporate line, so we got two envoys here. So member states. This is the Federation members screen. It's all positive. Here so, we can uh, see how we're... powerful our members are in various areas. How okay, many... so we're all, uh, you know, fighting for a bright future right now. Laws. Changes uh... to Federation laws can be proposed by any member. If the Federation fails to pass a law, the Federation will suffer a cohesion penalty. Some laws are locked and require increasing the centralization to unlock them. The Federation okay, must first well. level up to gain access to a higher centralization. Be cautious though. As the centralization is increased, cohesion will suffer. Okay. It should be Stellar League of War next galaxy, but uh, that's okay. Alright, so the Midfell joined us. So the Midfell is now our allies, so that's okay. Uh, and also, this guy's. Uh, so anything that's green, except for the Fowler uh, Kingdom, of course. So, uh, how do we differentiate that? Diplomatic mode, yeah, we're kind of like this one. Or this. Uh, what's this? Uh, Union's map mode. Ah, okay. Yep, so that's a uh, thing. Okay, so we're uh... So yeah, unfortunately that's gonna add with my uh, naval capacity. Uh, that's okay. I just have to build some fortress worlds uh, where I'm top that thing. What's this? Inbound message traffic. Of course, let's agree with that. So I just have to wait for a year, uh, just to have. Uh, okay.
Okay. Construction complete. Okay, so we're now, uh... Well, they're just uh, still disloyal, but, uh... They're kinda... You know, um... Uh, laws. Uh, it's always majority vote. Um. Orbital rings are vast megastructures which are built to encircle an entire planet. They may okay, just g give me a moment here. Never surrender, or uh, we'll go with this. Uh, based on the gum flapping of our uh... orbital rings are vast megastructures which are built to encircle an entire planet. They make for an efficient bridge between space and the planet below, providing room for facilities like shipyards, defensive structures, and resource hubs. Oh, okay, we'll just go for orbital anchorage. Actually, we could go for shipyards. Okay, there we go. That should do the trick. Okay, it's a deal. Uh, well met. For now, we're not gonna organize any, uh, uh, let me check on demographics. Well, population growth lead is plus plus 30, but the happiness is, uh... Oh god, Barisitus and Jelnax. Construction some complete. serious purging happening with up north. Well, uh, we're not gonna intervene with that. Oh, Wamahama. What did I do? Okay, well, got no choice. Oh, don't tell me there's some sort of a... Uh, ring segment. Yeah, it sounds like a ring well that got decimated. Okay, I'll just go here. Just survey that. Um... Us, we just go a little bit up north here. Okay, tent UNS fleet, we'll probably have to order them back here. <laughs> now this is not, this is going to be... Okay, that should do the trick, and I am still, um, yeah, I'm just gonna change, uh, the government here, so I'm just gonna go for hyper fast, rivalry, uh, for Urbanites. Yeah, we could set up here, but the problem is, uh, no one's home here. And the question is, why? Uh. Huh. 
like a ring world, but uh Low stability, but I uh, got no idea why. Oh yeah, of course. Uh... Construction complete. Well. Oh. Okay, surpassing the magic vision. Overcast can get the crowd in New Norway's capital city to progress and carry out the proof of destruction. Pondering on the progress of broadcast to our empire, but the engagement was low as the chamber from the fortress did not seem to be quite exciting as what we hoped for. After finishing the world tour, the chamber of the fortress was specialized. Okay. Well, New Norway has. Uh, Norway has to be a... Uh... well, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I guess everything's uh, now in peace, so I'm just going to head out uh, just push this guys uh, on some sort of mission up north. Take a look if we could still uh, put uh, some sort of base here, I guess. Mm -hmm. well, for now, uh, we need some sort of a uh, base on or some sort of a fortress base on the eastern side of uh, the galaxy just to maintain a military presence, of course. Okay, so we got now a Federation fleet being built up. So we can see a lot of green things here moving along. Okay, in the meantime, I would like to check my... Uh I would like to check my... Uh Oh, strategic. Okay, sure. I just like to check my uh, planets here, see if they're doing fine. Uh -huh. uh -oh. Okay, this is strange. We got some. Uh... Oh. Okay, well, we could launch a hive. Uh, I mean. Um, yeah, you could let my mercenary fleet check this one out. Okay, so right, there's nothing really much on news going on now because everything is pretty much stable and uh, yeah, well, working out towards a brighter future. We're also gonna upgrade our fleet with impulse thrusters. So now I'm just only really waiting for this uh, for my government to change. Um, Uh, great, so the hive wheat was uh, killed with that. What do we got? 
Okay. Right, so I guess that's uh, the members of our uh, military alliance here. Actually, this was uh, what do you call this? This was created in the events of our property in case of a galactic crisis. Dragon Spearhead. I never heard of those guys before. Science Division reports a new okay. breakthrough. Uh, I think I got some. Uh... Yeah. All right. Goodbye. Um. Okay, uh, good. Goodbye, okay, so I guess that's good. Um, yeah, we need synthetic crystals, but uh, we need antimatter missiles as well. <laughs> Okay, where's my science vessel? Um, there should be uh, some inbound message traffic. Uh, immigration, I'll rather not. Vax for habitat. Oh, yeah, this is a fortress world. Um, should be colonized with machines. Um, Inbound message traffic. New, uh, what shall I call this? Uh, uh, Okay, South America. New Chile. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I just have to wait one more month. And then, uh... And then, uh, we're, we're going to end our uh, recorded uh, Let's Play. Inbound message traffic. Uh, Inbound message traffic. I don't know. I decline. Yeah, okay, fine. Oh no, I'll decline. Sorry. I'll probably have to go for federations with that. Um, free immigration, yeah. But uh, most of them don't really support it and requires medium, so uh, we'll rather keep it uh, mm -hmm. Besides, there's a possibility that uh, my demographics here got uh, overrun by Xenos we, we, We're not gonna go through that Anyway, I guess it's almost time to reform my government uh, It's now gonna be a democratic uh, uh, we are, of course, parliamentary system, as I recall, and we got reanimators, so we got one extra civic left. We could go for beacon of liberty, uh, monthly unities plus 15 pops. Um, we could go for idealistic foundations. Yeah, we can go for idealistic foundations. Um, it's gonna go for citizen happiness or beacon of liberty.
Yeah, we'll go for beacon of idealistic foundations. Yeah. So it's more like uh, the future carbon copy of, uh, or we could go for technocracy. Twice. Uh, the chance to discover technology. Well, technocracy is nice. It will be. Yeah. Uh, research alternatives. Uh, yeah, we'll go for technocracy game wise. Uh, we can also go for shadow council. Okay, um. Yeah, we'll go for technocracy. We'll just go tech crush. We're gonna be practical about this one. It's not gonna be a utopia. So uh, it's not gonna be first speaker. It's gonna be uh, general secretary. So yeah. So we got egalitarian, militarist. Uh, so that should be uh Terry State. Yeah, I'll probably be we'll probably have to change our negotiations here. Uh uh negotiating agreement. Okay, well if they want to be a tributary that's okay with me. Okay. Uh, we're good with that. So uh, I guess we're now going to end our recorded Let's Play session here. So uh, yeah, I would have opted for the idealistic foundations, but uh, like I said, the United Nations of Seoul is not a perfect government. So uh, yeah, it's not exactly... Well, although they're doing good, their most priority is the survival of mankind by any means necessary. So, uh, there we go. Uh, we're going to save this one. UNS uh, episode 11, letter D. So, there we go. And to those who are watching this, uh, thank you for watching. And see you around on our next recorded Let's Play. So, bye-bye for now. <laughs>